Hello students, welcome to the fifth chapter of HS302, Spirits. This presentation is made for you by Professor Sarang, of Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology Pune. In this chapter you will learn about various types of spirits, their production, and varieties. So, let us begin. Among all types of alcohol available, only ethanol is potable, that is, suitable to drink. Ethanol, is a product of fermentation process, in which sugar is converted into alcohol, and carbon dioxide, by yeast. The basic fermented liquid has 3 to 14 percent alcohol. If this liquid is distilled, alcohol can be achieved in purer, and in more concentrated form. This pure alcohol achieved after distillation, is called as spirit. Spirit is an outcome of distillation process, done to fermented alcoholic liquid. Spirit is a liquid which is obtained from distillation of fermented mash. Examples of spirit are, whiskey, brandy, rum, gin, vodka, and tequila. Distillation is a process of separating elements, in a liquid by a vaporization and condensation. All spirits are distilled from a base of fermented liquid. Spirits have high content of alcohol as compared to the basic fermented liquid. The type of base used decides the flavor and aroma of the spirit. Example, whiskey is made by using grains, rum is made by using molasses, and brandy made by using grapes. These were just few to name. Depending upon color and aroma, spirits are classified as white spirits and brown spirits. White spirits. These are either colorless, or have very light color. These are generally made by patent distillation. White spirits are generally matured in stainless steel tanks, where they do not get anything from the metal and absorption of color can be avoided. Examples of white spirits are, vodka, gin, and tequila. White spirits have very delicate aromas and flavors. Brown spirits. These are dark in color, and have a rich flavor. Most of the dark spirits are made by pot distillation, and are matured in wooden barrels. Sometimes caramel can be added to make the spirit look dark. Example of dark spirit are whiskey, brandy, and rum. Whiskey Whiskey is a spirit, obtained from distillation of, fermented mash of grain, usually, barley, maize, or rye or a mixture of all three in varying proportion. Whiskey is a dark spirit, generally achieved by pot distillation. It is matured in oak barrels. However, there are few patent distilled whiskeys available. Whiskey is one of the most popular alcoholic beverages in the world. Various countries like Scotland, Ireland, America, Canada, Japan, and India, produce whiskey of notable quality. Scotch whiskey made in Scotland, is the most popular among all the other whiskies. Let us see various types of whiskies. Types of whiskey Every country, has its own style and combination of ingredients to make whiskey. Ingredients used in different countries are as follows. Scotland, mainly barley is used, with a small addition of corn. Ireland, only barley is preferred especially malted barley. USA, corn and rye are used. Canada, only rye is used in production. Let us go through every type of whiskey, one by one. Scotch whiskey. It is regarded as world's finest whiskey. A whiskey to be called as Scotch whiskey, must qualify the following parameters. It must be distilled at a distillery in Scotland, from malted barley. Distilled at an alcoholic strength of 94.8% by volume. It must be matured in excise warehouse in Scotland, for minimum period of 3 years, in oak casks, of capacity not more than 700 liters. It must be bottled at minimum 40% alcohol by volume. Now let us go through, manufacturing of malt whiskey. The first step is malting. Maltying it is germination, 
and drying of barley. In presence the peat fire, which gives of a pungent earthy swirling smoke. The smoke gives the barley its special fragrance. The grain is then milled coarsely to become grist. The grist is mixed with hot water to extract the sugar from the grain. The resultant Swedish liquid is known as wort. Wort is then transferred to a fermentation tank for fermentation, where cultured yeast is added. After about 36 hours the liquid ferments with an alcoholic strength of 7 to 10 percent. Once the fermentation is complete, the liquid is called as alcoholic wash, and it is sent for distillation. Distillation Malt whiskey is only made in pot still in Scotland. The alcoholic wash is put into the wash still, and heated, until the alcohol vaporizes, and rises through the neck of the still. The neck is attached to the water-cooled condenser, where it liquidizes again. The next step is maturing. The young whiskey is pumped into sherry cask or American oak cask where to mature, for a minimum legal requirement of three years. The cask matures and mellows the whiskey and adds color and character. Malt whiskey can be aged between 15 to 20 years. Prolonged aging will impart an unfavorably woody flavor. The age appearing on the label must indicate the age of the youngest whiskey in the blend. After maturation, whiskey is blended. Blending is done to ensure consistency in quality. There may be as many as 30 to 40 whiskies blended together to make one brand. After blending the whiskey is rested, and the components mixed together. Soft water is added to reduce the alcohol to a potable strength of 40% by volume. The whiskey is filtered before bottling. Let us now study, another type of scotch. That is, grain whiskey. The cereals used to make grain whiskey are, maize, wheat and millet. Maize is usually the main ingredient. Blend of grains is steam cooked to release sugar, to make it soluble for fermentation process. The cooked maize, is then mixed with hot water and a little green malt. Word is extracted, yeast is added, and after fermentation low wines are obtained which have slightly lower alcohol strength than the wash used in the pot still product. The patent still is used to make grain whiskey. The process results in a much milder, delicate product, ideally suitable for blending. Types of Scotch Whiskey Single Malt It is the blend of malt whiskies from one distillery. It may be a mix of malt whiskies, produced in different years. In this case the age of the youngest malt is mentioned on the label. Vatted Malt It is a blend of malt whiskies from different distilleries of Scotland. Blended Scotch It is a blend of malt and grain whiskey. The proportion of malt is generally less. Among all the Scotch whiskies, blended Scotch is most appreciated because of its balanced flavor. Single Grain It is grain whiskey from a single distillery. It is usually aged for a long time. Irish Whiskey By definition, Irish whiskey is a distilled product of grains from Ireland. Here, the pot still and patent still work side by side, but the individual character of each brand is carefully preserved. Irish whiskey is made from malted and unmalted barley, with very small quantities of other grains. It is triple distilled, and as a result it has less flavoring elements, which makes it light and easy on the palate. By law, it must be matured for five years in oak cask. Irish whiskey can be made either in Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland. American whiskey. Rye whiskey. It is made from a mash containing not less than 51% rye. It comes from Maryland and Pennsylvania. There are some straight ryes but the majority is blended with other whiskey. Corn whiskey. Made from containing 80% maize. This gets little aging and has a fiery flavor. Bourbon whiskey. It is made from mash which is fermented by using yeast from mash previous fermentation. Jack Daniels. 
It is not truly bourbon, as it is made in Tennessee. It is America's biggest seller. Canadian Whiskey This whiskey is noted for its fine and clean taste. It is a mixture of grains, such as, corn, rye, wheat and malted barley. It is mostly made at patent stills and aged in charred oak casks. It is somewhere between scotch and bourbon to taste, being light in body and flavor and slightly sweet. It is a very good mixture and used in cocktail recipes. Japanese Whiskey These are mainly distilled from corn, millet, and rice. Japan produces malt and blended whiskey. Pot still and patent still both methods of distillation are employed. Reputation of Japanese single malt is as good as Scottish single malt. Brandy Brandy is a spirit, made by distillation of fermented grape juice. The oldest use of brandy is seen in medicine. France is considered the first country to produce brandy. It is noted for its two famous types. Cognac and Armagnac Cognac Cognac is recognized as one of the world's greatest drink. Only white grapes are used in the production of Cognac. The grape varieties used are Fall Blanche, Colombard, saint Emile Lyon, which is also known as Uni Blanc. Manufacturing Process of Cognac Like wines, it starts with harvesting. The grapes are picked to produce dry white wine, with low alcohol and high in acidity. The wine is slowly warmed and transferred into copper pot still for distillations. It is distilled twice but only the heart is taken leaving the head and tail to redistill. Distillation is also known as bone chaffee and produces a raw, fiery, and colorless cognac with an alcohol content of 72%. Aging the young spirit is put to mature in oak cask. The raw spirit interacts with a wood and extracts color and flavor. The porous wood allows a slow oxidation critical to the development of undue fineness, associated with cognac. During the aging process 2-3% to alcohol is lost through evaporation per year. This is known as angel share. Cognac improves while maturing in cask, not in bottle. It is bottled at an alcoholic strength of not less than 40%. Label language of cognac. Two star. This cognac is aged for four years in cask. Three star. This cognac is aged for eight years in cask. VS, very special. This cognac spends five to nine years in cask. VSOP. These are known as liqueurs or fine quality cognac. They are not sweet but are finely matured. VSOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. Old Liquor Cognacs, XO. These are cognacs of great age and refinement. The finest products of the cognac houses, matured in cask for 20, 30, 40 or even more years. Napoleon Brandy. It is the youngest brandy in blend. It is three years old in blend. Let us now learn about another type of brandy. Armagnac. It is produced in southwest France. Armagnac is a full-bodied, drier, and richer than cognac. It is made in similar style like cognac. Grapes used are 1. saint emilion slash Ugni Blanche 2. Full Blanche 3. Colombord for distillation, patent still method is employed. However, since 1973, use of pot still is also permitted by law. The next dark spirit is rum. Rum was invented, when Spanish settled in West Indies, and noticed the molasses present in sugar. Sugar fermented naturally, and when they distilled, the sticky liquid a rich pleasant beverage was obtained. The Caribbean is the true home of rum, where sugarcane grows in abundance. Manufacturing process of rum First step is to obtain the molasses, the sugarcane is crushed to produce bagasse. This is crushed again to extract the juice, 
and then concentrated into a syrup by boiling. The syrup is put into centrifugal machine which crystallizes the sugar. The byproduct of sugar is a dark solution, called molasses. Before fermentation, the thick molasses will be diluted with water and clarified. Fermentation, while making rum, the manufacturer may decide whether to ferment the molasses quickly or slowly. Each type of fermentation produces rum of different quality. Quick fermentation. This lasts no longer than two to three days but is frequently shorter. It is associated with the production of light and white flavored rums. Slow fermentation, this may last for up to 12 to 20 days and is associated with the production of dark heavy flavored rum. Distillation of rum. After fermentation, wash is distilled. To produce light rums, the wash is distilled in patent still to strength of 91.5 alcohol by volume. The resulting spirit will be rich in flavor and aromatics. These will be more prominent as the spirit matures in cask. Some color will be obtained from the oak casks, or a solution of caramel may be added for better color. Before bottling, rums are reduced to a potable strength of around 40% by adding distilled water. Categories of rum. Dot white rum. It is labeled as white or silver rum because it is clear in color. These rums are aged in unchanged art oak barrels. Gold or amber rum. This is a deep colored, older, sweeter and flavorsome type of rum. They are best served as long cooling drinks with mixes, such as cola, lemonade, fruit juices or as a prime ingredient in cocktails. Dark rum. These are heavy, pungent, flavorsome rum, with a pronounced personality and aroma. These rums are aged for 5 to 8 years in oak barrels, and at the time of bottling, caramel is added. Spiced rum, this category of rum is flavored with fruits such as orange, lime, apricot, plums, or coconut. Vodka. It is a highly rectified spirit, made from grains, potato, or molasses. It is the national drink of Russia and Poland and it originated in one of these two countries in the 12th century. The name vodka means little water because the product looks colorless, tasteless, and odorless. This factor of being odorless has gained the drink a reputation of being wife's deceive. The finest quality vodka is filtered through activated layers of charcoal or fine quartz sand. This ensures absolute purity. Let us now see how vodka is manufactured. Vodka is made from potatoes, or sweet potatoes, or grains, such as wheat, rye, maize. The grain is made into mash, then fermented, and distilled in continuous still. The distillate thus obtained, is almost free of any congeners. The new spirit, is then passed through charcoal, which absorbs any of the congeners, this, producing a colorless, tasteless, and odorless spirit. It is then diluted, with distilled water to 100 degree proof, and then bottled. Vodka requires no aging. However, one month aging period in wood is allowed. Flavored Vodka Best example of flavored vodka is, the outstanding Polish vodka, Zubrowska. Made with an infusion of Zubrowka grass. It is aromatic with green tingle and slightly nutty flavor. A long blade of the grass floats inside each bottle. Being flavorless it is an easy ingredient for cocktails and cups. On its own, it is served straight from the fridge into the glasses, which have been freezed for few minutes. Gin is a rectified spirit distilled from barley, rye, and flavored with juniper, botanicals and herbs. It is always flavored with juniper berries and the following botanicals. Cassia bark, coriander seed, angelica root, calamus, fennel, licorice, almonds, orange peel, cardamom etc. The fermented wash is put into patent still to produce an unrefined spirit. This is redistilled to eliminate congeners. 
A high strength colorless and flavorless spirit is obtained, which is reduced in strength by the addition of distilled water. The botanical flavoring are added in the following either of the three ways. Traditional method. It involves the distillation of the pure spirit, with flavoring agents. This is done in pot still, and flavors of botanicals used, impregnate the final spirit. In another way, at the time of distillation, the botanicals can be added in concentrated form to the neutral alcohol. Another kai to flavor gin is, flavoring can be added to neutral spirit. This is the cheapest method. Gin made by the first two methods is described as London Dry Gin and if made by the third method the quality description is used. Types of Gin Number 1. London Dry Gin It is originally made in London, thus named after the city, London. This is unsweetened classic gin, nowadays, it is made elsewhere under license, and marketed under various brand names. Dutch or Holland Gin Rye is the cereal used in Holland Gin. It is strong, full-bodied, and has distinct aroma of juniper. Hence, it is taken neat or ice-cold, not used as base for cocktail. Fruit Gin It is also known as Holland's, or Geneva. It is made from malted barley and rye. It is double distilled in a pot still, with flavorings introduced in the second distillation. It has heavy malt flavor, which makes it unsuitable for mixing. In Holland it is usually drunk in a tall narrow ice-cold glass. Aquavit is the spirit, native to Scandinavian countries. It is distilled from grains or potatoes, and flavored with caraway, cumin, dill, fennel and bitter oranges. In Germany it is known schnapps. Traditionally aquavit or schnapps is served as an accompaniment with Scandinavian smorgasbord. Smorgasbord is, a display of various fancy shapes of open sandwiches. Next type of spirit is arak. It is raw spirit. A distillate of fermented sap of palm trees, to which rice and molasses is sometimes added. It is often also made from dates, rice, grape juices, sugarcane and milk. The original Arabic for such concoctions and their variants meant sweat. Absinthe Absinthe originated in Switzerland in the late 18th century. It is an anise-flavored spirit derived from botanicals, including the flowers and leaves of wormwood, together with green anise, sweet fennel, and other medicinal and culinary herbs. Absinthe traditionally has a natural green color, but may also be colorless. It is served in absinthe glass using a perforated spoon with sugar and chilled water. Let us now see an interesting spirit, tequila. Tequila distinguishes itself by its unique way of consumption. It is generally consumed neat, with a lemon wedge and pinch of salt. Tequila is a spirit from Mexico. Made from tuber of blue agave tequila a plant. Traditionally, tequila must be bottled in the same region from where it is harvested. Tuber is harvested by trimming the leaves of the plant, which are directly attached to the tuber. As per the traditional method, these tubers are steam-cooked and crushed to release juice. This juice is fermented by addition of yeast. Tequila is distilled twice in pot stills. A second distillation refines the product which is then aged, in cask or wax-lined vats for varying period, before being bottled. Styles of Tequila Tequila is available in the following styles. White, or silver. It is aged in wax-lined vats, to retain its white color. Another type is, gold, or anho, it is aged in oak cask, which imparts color and mellowness. Tequila is accompanied by salt and a wedge of lime while drinking. First the salt, then swallow the drink quickly and immediately bite into the slice of lime. Students, that is all for the chapter, Spirits. After learning all of the content of this chapter, you can develop your knowledge further, by solving the assignments given in this slide. Thank you.